How was it? Like we're talking about 2013, you mentioned. So way before the COVID and quarantine and everything, when yeah. you know, that was yeah. a big break for digital nomads. Um, tell us a little bit how it was for you know the old school nomads well uh, yeah I got the idea to become a nomad in in 13 and uh, I started doing it in July 16 and uh, I had a very good thing going uh, with my production company and it was almost built only built on networking and making friends and going to network meetings in Denmark and that's obviously something I couldn't do when I was traveling and uh, And I tried to keep in touch, but I'm I'm not the kind of salesy guy that would call up some random companies or agency. It, I, it was all referral based. And you have to remember this was pre-pandemic, so um, it's been become a lot easier now and not so much an issue of where you are. Yeah. Pre-pandemic, if you said, can we do a Zoom meeting? They wouldn't know what I was talking about. Maybe they'd heard of Skype and but never used it. But I could see the first three years of me being a nomad. I thought, yeah, I know what I'm doing. I wrote a book about radio advertising. I was the most award-winning radio advertising producer in Denmark. So obviously, clients are still going to come to me. Uh, but then I could see that it became less and less and less because, um, oh, that radio guru guy uh that's the name of my company he's he's so far away he's on the other side of planet he's not focused he's out seeing exotic stuff and he's not working and he pulled the plug i did a lot to say hey i have not retired i am still working it was it was a problem for me because i was spending I'm, i can live on a rock i can live very very cheap But I was still spending more money than I was making. So I was kind of keeping quiet about this. Um, but I was speaking to some uh, some friends and and they said, oh, maybe you should just stop uh, this traveling around. But here's the thing, Ben. It would cost me more money living in Denmark than living on the road. Yep. Uh, so I couldn't afford not to be a nomad. So many people think that this lifestyle is so expensive. And it can be. But you choose how expensive it should be. Yeah.